How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Expert Tremor mod Let's Play. Oh man, in the last episode we were fighting bosses galore. We went to the desert and fought the new Rook boss and uh, it was pretty tough. It was a lot tougher than the Tiki Totem. And then we went on a massive life increasing rampage and got lots of life crystals which was really nice and we needed it for that Skeletron fight. Oh my god, it was so hard. <laughs> but uh, we're going to look at upgrading our weapons this episode and getting some stronger stuff uh, for the remainder of pre-hard mode. Uh, and we also have unlocked the dungeon, so we're going to go down into there. And we're also going to expand our base because apparently there's lots of NPCs waiting to move in and we're going to make some room for them. So I don't know, we might do a dungeon underneath, we might do some more galleries up the top. Who knows guys, there's so much to do though. A lot of exploring this episode, a lot of building. Let's get started. Alright, and let's finally get rid of this little puddle of water that's been there since like the start of our adventure. Oh wow. <laughs> so we really need to expand our base and I'm kind of excited to build a bit underneath. Um, because these two buildings look pretty cool and I think we can add a nice area uh, just below the two. And yes, I think that's pretty much... Pretty much symmetrical. Oh man, I better count. Better count. Don't want it to be off. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's two more to each. Yep. Okay, we're perfectly in the middle here, uh, which is really nice. Um, so what I thought we can do is expand our gallery and make a big middle chamber uh, for more display room and also then add some NPC houses around the side. So as always guys, I'll do a bit of a speed build of this and uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, get on with our adventure once we've got awesome new NPCs moved in. Well guys, I had a lot of fun, and if you can't tell, <laughs> which happens to me a lot in Terraria, I got a bit lost in building and was really enjoying myself. So I've made like quite a large gallery downstairs with like rooms going off the side, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's, uh, it's kind of fun, and I've got some more display stuff, uh, so we can put up even more armor sets and new weapons and stuff. But the chef has moved in, uh, which is really cool. Um, so let's see, oh my god, there's new stuff. Butcher axe, oh okay, that's actually an axe, it's literally an axe. <laughs> a knife, 20 melee damage, it's only one gold, let's check it out. Whoa! Oh man, that thing is huge, and it's auto swing. Wow, if we got hit that earlier, that would have been cool. Oh my god, Caro, some of you were talking about this. It's like a carrot gun, or bow. Whoa, it's like vampire knives. Man, that thing is crazy. Oh, 20 range damage. And, oh man, I like that. That is sweet. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, does he have anything else? A durian? I think, is that a fruit? No. <laughs> um, and that's a magic, magic weapon. 18 mana. Well, we're a bit low on mana stars at the moment. Although that said, we have been collecting some fallen stars. So let's put a little bit of a fix to that. And uh, I put a random wood platform down. Okay, well let's sub out our snowball launcher. In fact, let's put that, uh, let's put that in one of the item things for now. I'm, I'm pretty happy to use this caro for a bit. This sounds kind of fun. Uh, so, let's see, we had some more NPCs. We got Painer, the die trader moved in, and the arms dealer, which is kind of fun. Um, but I think it's time, we need to do a quick run through the dungeon. 
uh, to pick up uh, Cobalt Shield, hopefully. And yay, I can get my Familiar Wig. <laughs> oh, it's always fun. Alright, it is time to start exploring the dungeon. Whoa. And we're lucky we got one gold key uh, at the end of the last episode because there was a chest right near the top. Uh, and that was kind of nice, so it means the first gold chest we encounter, whoop, <laughs> we can uh, get some cool, <gasps> is that a water bolt? It means we can get the chest open straight away. Oh my god, yes. Wow. Uh, yeah, let's put that there. That's going to help a lot. And we just got our mana up a bit too, that's so cool. <laughs> love it, love it. Alright, so let's start making our way down. I know I'm missing those potions, they're only like the, the 50 hit point ones, which you can buy from the merchant, so... It's like, oh, what is... Have I fought one of these yet? I don't know, it's like a tentacle slime. By Clomere? By... By Cold? Oh, anyway, let's kill it. <laughs> I can't pronounce your name, you must die. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's good logic, isn't it, guys? <laughs> feel like a caveman. Oh, oh, I'm gonna thump it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that painting looks sweet. We'll take that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, this is a pretty long corridor. Should we get a Santa Claus picture? To put it oh, no way, mechanic! Yes! Oh, this is so good. It's just a matter of time before I ended up like the rest. Ooh, okay, she's got no new stuff. Oh, do I need any wiring stuff just yet? Probably not. Uh, no, I think I'm good. But, uh, ooh, can we sell her anything? No, no, we're good, we're good. Okay. <gasps> yes! A chest! Oh my god! A Miramaza! Yes! That is so cool. Wow. Okay, well that's definitely gonna take that spot. Okay, so now- Oh, ho, 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 ho. Guys, I'm loving this! Wow, what a great start to the dungeon! We've got the mechanic, we've got a water bolt, we've got a chest! <laughs> it's so good! Wow! Oh, cool couch too! <laughs> Does this day get any better? <laughs> oh man, okay. Let's continue on into the depths. Oh, should we take the dresser? Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, I almost avoided damage. Oh, no, nah, now nah, it's, it's all over. It's all over, Happy. Just, just get hit. Just, just accept it. Accept the pain. Alright. Oh, this is a, a strange entry here. There's a bit of water going on. Oh, that's a bit random. Okay. But, uh, I've seen some, I've seen some crazy dungeons over my time. Uh, probably my favourite one is when... I can't remember what series. It might have been the Yaren one. And, oh man, Orc Skeleton. Sweet as. Wow. Yeah, go Caro. Take him out. <laughs> and Water Bolt finish. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think my favourite one is when the corruption had, like, completely covered the entrance. I was like, ah, oh, that's pretty funny. Okay, let's just put the gold chest in now. Oh, man. Okay. Alright, Nazar, first skull. Come on. Let's call it. Let's call it. No! Don't go up there. No. <laughs> okay, it didn't work. Oh, yes, a dungeon slime. Sweet. Alright, let's put some light on the subject. Oh, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll fill the pig up in a moment. And, uh, so we can have... Uh, so we can have some nice things again. Alright, so let's put that there. Let's deposit all. Do I need any of that stuff? No, we're good, we're good. Okay. Alright, sweet. And now we can carry loot again, which is oh so nice. Oh man, so much to explore, so little time. Okay, let's continue on. Oh hey, Mr. Dungeon Slime. How's it going? Take some water bowls. Oh yes, you are going down. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Oh, an alchemy table. Yes, and a gold chest. Ah, and another dark trap. Oh, was there two? No. Okay, we shall definitely take that. Oh, ho, ho! cobalt shield. Oh, man, what are we going to use? Okay, critical strike. Is the camera ranged? Yeah. What's it adding? 5% damage. That's probably actually not that much. Although I do like the crit on it. Oh, man. Oh, man. 5% mil, oh, that's got 3 defense, blah! Alright, let's take off the... Let's take off the Band of Regen, that's not... You know, it's nice, but it's not critical. And if you've got the well-fed buff, that's pretty much all you need anyway, so... Yeah, let's do that. Alright, ooh, this looks like a bit of a drop! No, we're good, we're good. Okay, and we have a normal chest with a convenient key, and then a gold chest right next to it, with the handgun. Oh man, okay, ooh, a bone welder, fun, fun. Fun times! Well, now that we've got the Cobalt Shield, that's pretty much 
my number one reason for coming to the dungeon. So what we'll probably do, I like that painting, that's a cool one. Uh, so what we'll probably do is have a quick bit of a look around, see if we can't find any other like just really convenient, fantastic loot. Oh, that's a good painting too. <laughs> uh, something evil is watching you. <laughs> oh yeah. And is that a second? No, that's a bewitching table. Oh man, yeah. Wow, this is like the best dungeon ever. <laughs> oh, no, no, no angry bones. Thank you. There you go. Take the gold keys. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> Where are the gold keys? I can't see them and now I'm getting nervous. Oh, there they are. <laughs> oh. Alright, excuse me, I'm trying to loot. Thank you. Alright, oh, the Valor. Sweet. Man, these items, these new weapons are out of control. Wow, do you know how last episode I'm like, gee, we're going to have to get some stronger weapons. And we've gone, we've got the Muramasa, the Karo, we've got a Valor, man, and a Water Bolt. We are like OP OP now, this is awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and I think we're good, guys. Uh, I think it's time to head back to base and plan our next move. Hey guys, so I was just doing a bit of sorting of my inventory and it looks like a blood moon is just starting. Uh, which is kind of cool because we kind of needed one. Apparently, I think the chef sells the boss summoning item. Yeah, yeah. 12 gold, man, that's expensive as. Uh, but we kind of need it. I've got 43 gold. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna buy... Oh, Blood Moons are so rare, I'm gonna buy two. Uh, because if I die to this, this boss, I don't want to have to wait for another Blood Moon. So this is kind of cool. Um, a few of you were telling me that you can get special items during the, the Blood Moon that uh, you can craft with. And I'll just get some Deathweed while it's blooming. Uh, actually, let's kill some of the lesser plants and plant as much Deathweed as we can quickly. Um, so what I actually have done as well, uh, you'll notice that uh, not many mobs are spawning around here. So I've actually set up a second arena as well. So there's some new mob types. There's like a, a druid, uh, there's like these phantom things. Yeah, that's it, the phantom. Nice timing. And they drop like some, it looks like a nebula from normal Terraria, yeah. Okay, phantom souls, that's what we're after here. So actually I might set up... We've got so many water candles from the dungeon. Uh, now, I don't know how many uh, phantoms I need, but uh, yeah, like if we get enough of them, we'll be able to do some interesting crafting from what I can tell. So what I might do, guys, the Blood Moon lasts for about nine minutes, so I'm going to grind it, uh, get as many drops as I can, and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the other side. Well, that was really strange, guys. Like, I was running around everywhere, and the spawn rate seemed, like, ridiculously low. Um, oh my god. Wow, look at this. Oh, that looks like a demon blood. Oh, okay, that's a pretty cool... Okay, whoa, look at this armor, that looks wicked. Wow, I'm never gonna get it at this rate, though. I need quite a few of those phantom things. I think I've got st enough steel. But the main thing, I guess, we got our cur cursed, blah, 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 we got our cursed popcorn, <laughs> our cursed popcorn. So tonight, uh, we'll fight the the evil corn boss in our arena. So yeah, I'll just chill out during the day. I might farm some uh, herbs, and yeah, I'll see you guys tonight for the battle. Ah, oh, what a relaxing day, chilling out in my base. And now it is time to eat some popcorn. But it's not just any popcorn; it's cursed popcorn. Oh man, <laughs> so we've had one hard boss, one easy boss, well, medium boss, the Rook was, yeah, it was kind of tough. So let's see what the, whoa, <laughs> I'm waiting for the, whoa, hello, you're quick, <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> wow, okay, this is kind of, oh, it like teleports, oh, corn, yay, <laughs> it's dropping, oh, they heal you, okay, that's kind of nice. 
Wow, I love this boss. It's actually moving around and it's, you know, it's fast and it's got... Yeah, this is cool. Uh, I don't think it does very much damage though. <laughs> oh no, I'm healing it! No! Did I just heal it for like all its hit points? No, I don't think so. Wow. It, it looked like I healed like, you know, thousands of... It's saying like 500. What is, what is going on here? What? <laughs> this boss is crazy. And there's popcorn going everywhere. It doesn't make any sense. What's with all the popcorn? Oh, it's healing me though. That's kind of nice. <laughs> it looks so angry too. It's like, I'm so ridiculously angry right now. <laughs> um, I think this is an earlier boss. It doesn't seem to be hurting me at all. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to tank it. <laughs> oh, you're such a cute little corn boss, aren't you? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, this, I do like how this boss moves around a bit, though. Like, it's it's interesting. Um, it's fast, too, which is very cool. Um, I love the healing mechanic. That's kind of nice. That's, uh, that's a bit different. All right, come on. Stop stop floating around. Let's... Yeah, there we go. There we go. The teleport mechanic's really cool, too. I like that. Wow. Oh, 2,000? It doesn't seem to be healing, though. I don't know. It's a very strange boss. Very strange. No, I, oh, okay. It says, like, thousands, but it, it only heals, like, 20 or something. Like, it's... Yeah. <laughs> well, this is this has been interesting. Okay. So, I'd say this boss... It may have been harder if I fought it earlier, perhaps. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, we've almost got it anyway. So, I wonder what the loot's going to be like from it. Alright, come on. Stop defending. Stop defending. This is all over. There we go. Sorry, little corn boss. Oh. Alright, well, that was highly difficult. <laughs> It, it's almost like, I don't know, the damage just didn't seem right on that, like, yeah, like, I'm an expert and I was taking, like, what, 5 damage? I guess I've got 36 defense, it's pretty high. Um, maybe this is like Eye of Cthulhu, you're supposed to fight it really early. Anyway, we got treasure and that's always a good thing. So 3, 2, 1, boom! Oh, cool. Corn mask. Oh, I'm so angry on corn! <laughs> Oh, it's, um, it's Castle Crashers. Yay! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, cool. I like that. And what's this? Demonic Corn Sword. 29 damage. Auto Swing. Pretty cool. Uh, actually, that's really nice. It's a bit slow, but yeah. Agile Corn Heater. Uses popcorn as ammo. Oh, that's cool. Do I have popcorn? Oh, no, it's like unlimited. Holy moly, that thing's insane. Uses 9 mana. Oh, it's like a magic gun. Oh, guys, that is... Whoa, yeah, okay. Favoriting that one. That is... That's decent. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, I like that. <laughs> that's like Water Bolt on steroids. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to fight another one quickly just to see what other loot we get. But I'll, uh, I'll speed this up for you guys. Okay, we got our second treasure bag. And I don't know if you get all of its loot straight away, but uh, we'll soon find out. Three, two, one, boom! Oh, we got the other piece of the vanity. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, and a Pixie Queen trophy. What? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, crazy. Oh, there's the corn. Okay. But it's not... Uh, I think it's supposed to use up the corn, but it's not. Okay. Oh, well. It's all good. So, do you know what? I know that that boss was, like, ridiculously easy at this stage. Um, if that boss had more damage, I would almost say it might be difficult. Um, I would boost its attack by about 40 or 50. And uh, I think it'd be alright. It'd be an interesting boss to fight. Um, as it stands, though, it was a little weak for us at this stage. Anyway, let's wait for morning and we'll move on with our adventure. Alright, guys. Thanks so much for watching another episode of our Tremor Mod Expert Let's Play. Oh man, it felt so good to get all those new rooms in our base and all those new NPCs selling us powerful, powerful stuff. It's very, very cool indeed. And uh, I can't believe our dungeon run. Oh man, Cobalt Shield, yo-yos, it's just great. I'm really looking forward to smashing Wall of Flesh very soon. Oh, we probably need to kill Queen Bee as well. Yeah, that'd be cool, get the Beekeeper. Always a fun, always a fun sword to have. And uh, thanks to everyone who voted on our next series. Uh, voting's open for a few days still, so links in the description. 
make sure you take a moment to vote guys it'll be our next series so if you really have an interest in what our next series will be take a moment to vote and make your voice heard oh yeah all right it's time for some shout outs as always and our first one is from paragon draco Ooh, cool name. <laughs> Must be seeing a Felix voice. Wait, is there a juke cookie run? <laughs> Bring on the cookie mod. Yes, we got a new boss. <laughs> Our next one is from Terrasol. They've asked me to see a narrator voice. A narrator. Felix was on the verge of death, but he refused to die and was filled with determination. <laughs> uh, love the Undertale references lately. And oh my god, so many of you were asking me to play Undertale yesterday. It was out of control. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I might I might do one bonus episode and we, we'll see how everyone likes it. Um, I've already played Pacifist, so it'd have to be Genocide. Um, so yeah, we, we might. We might do it. Might. <laughs> Maybe if you get really excited, I don't know. <laughs> and next one is from Christopher Heldgard. And the boss, seen a Draco voice. What's this? A cookie boss? I will destroy you! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cool. And next one is from Caleb Elstein. And the boss, we've seen a Felix voice. Finally, now I can have some. Zephyr, where are my cookies? <laughs> oh, Zephyr fish eating everything. <laughs> and our last one today is from Fingo Wolf. And the last we've seen a Wolf King voice. Cookie bombs away! <laughs> and I've changed into a werewolf. <laughs> I must have the, uh, let's see. I've got, oh no, I've got the Celestial Shell on visible. Ah! Alright, guys, thanks so much for watching, as always. And, uh, oh, Destroyer. I almost summoned him. I'm like, <laughs> I'll fight a boss while I'm just, like, saying the last few things. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, as always, guys. Smash that like button with a cookie if you've enjoyed the episode. It shows me you're enjoying the content, and it really makes me happy as well. And, uh, yeah, keep your comments, feedbacks, and suggestions uh, coming. It really helps with uh, a new mod like this, especially if you found out stuff that I don't know yet, and you can help steer me towards all the interesting stuff to discover. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, click on the HD icon in the bottom right corner, and you get our latest videos straight to your sub box. Guys, have a great day. This is the most important part, as always. You will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day, signing out. See ya. Alright. Now let's find out where this lava is. Mr. Lava! <gasps> oh goodness. Okay, we've got to heal off. Nice. Oh, he's about to go in his last form. Oh, what are we- No! <laughs>